Joshua Vergara from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And we have some versus videos here for you. Um, as you saw earlier, we have the LG Optimus G Pro right here, uh, the first 5.5 phone, 5-inch uh, screen phone by LG. And over here we have the Oppo Find 5. Now, um, it's uh, no secret that we are fans of the Oppo Find 5. It's 5-inch screen, 1080p display, and the incredible specs that are underneath. However, LG is really coming out of the gate by having a phone with an even larger screen. So we're going to take a look at a few of the aspects here. You're seeing the UI, and both screens, as you can see, are very vibrant, very crisp. Um, the Oppo comes in at a whopping 440 um, PPI while the LG Optimus G Pro has 400 in its very large 5.5 inch screen. Uh, let's go ahead, let's head on over to the back. Obviously these are both the white versions of the phones and they both look really nice. Um, over here you have the crystal reflection display on the back of the LG Optimus G Pro. Uh, the, <clears throat> the button layouts for both um, are, are different um, but essentially mirrored. You have the power button on the side over here, and the power button is on the left of the Oppo. However, um, after that, you have the volume rockers on the other sides. Um, capacitive buttons down here, and uh, you have a menu button on the side, menu button over here, so things are kind of mirrored there. Um, the Optimus G Pro has the Snapdragon 600 processor, which is a very, very fast, probably the fastest processor out right now for a smartphone, uh, while the Oppo Find 5 has the Snapdragon S4 Pro, originally made popular by the LG Optimus G, which is the uh, predecessor to this. Um, both have great specs. Uh, the Adreno 320 uh, pro uh, graphics processor backs the CPU inside of the Optimus G Pro. It is also the same on the Oppo Find 5. One really important thing about the LG Optimus G Pro is that the back is removable, which obviously means that the battery, the 3140 milliamp hour monster of a battery, is removable and replaceable. And as we saw, as uh, we found out earlier, in the box you get a replacement battery along with the cradle in order to charge both your phone and the spare battery, which is really, really awesome. Uh, also underneath you have the micro SIM slot along with the micro SD slot, so you have expandable memory and a replaceable battery, two features that a lot of people look for in their phones. The Apple, unfortunately, does not have either. In the Apple Find 5, however, you have 16 gigabytes of internal memory and 2 gigabytes of RAM, 2 gigabytes of RAM in the LG Optimus G Pro, but the Apple does not have anything removable. It is a unibody design that does not allow for any expandability. That's why uh, we have a lot to really like in the uh, LG Optimus G Pro because of those two features alone, aside from everything else. This is going to be the year of the five inch phone, as a, uh, five inch screen phones, uh, as, as uh, we're predicting. However, with LG bringing out a 5.5 inch screen, they're really looking to uh, shake things up a little bit. And we think that they're doing a pretty good job so far. So we're gonna have some more videos for you of the Optimus G Pro versus uh, with uh, other devices. Uh, and uh, you'll see more from AndroidAuthority.com because it is your source for all things Android at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Spain.